everybody, thanks for checking out my Let's Use It First High Road X video ball review. This is a dual purpose video. First off, I need to manage my time better. And second, I thought it might be a good idea to do an after the hype review for the people that don't grab the new release right away. So here we are. The High Road X is a celebration of the OG High Road in the current drop a ball every month type market. It's amazing that the High Road has hung in for this long. It says a lot about how many people think this ball is awesome. The X uses the inverted FE2 block with no outer core material. This increases the restitution, which makes the ball deflect less when it hits the pocket. Storm wrapped it up with the R2X solid cover, finished with 1500 grit and some polish. After having this ball for two months and having used it during league and the filming of this video you're watching, I can say that the X, for me at least, does not like oil at all. I understand that price point and design intent will govern the final ball reaction, so for my less rev and tilt style, I had to get it right, sometimes uncomfortably right. It was a leap of faith sending this bad boy to the five board, but I was rewarded for the risk. The X is a boomerang coming off the pattern. I drilled a bunch of high roads for other customers, and I had the same conversations with them all. You need to get it right. Once they listened, they saw what this ball was capable of. So, I suppose that is the upside. And now for the downside. It was near impossible for me to use the X right out of the gate. In fact, the lanes I'm on in the video are about four to five games in. This ball was a better late option for me, rather than the first choice. With that in mind, I've seen a bunch of stronger players successfully use it during the first game and on more volume. I don't bowl on sport conditions often, especially during the winter, but I can see the High Road X working pretty well on moderate length sport patterns. Overall, the High Road X is near the matchup hybrid for me as far as strength is concerned, which makes some sense due to the closeness of the cost. It's about $25 different depending on, uh, on what website you see or where you go. I think it would have been fun to see the original hybrid cover on the X. Kind of a, a relaunch or like a reboot of a classic, but since the, the OG High Road is still being made, that probably wouldn't make a ton of sense. I see where it fits in with the other High Road releases, and it's reasonable to think that you could have a spot for each in your bag. In closing, the High Road X is a slick looking release. It loves to bounce off the dry boards, and if you get on it pretty good, or you have a bit slower ball speed, you will definitely put X's on the board. Thank you again for your time. I'm Fred Callahan of Callahan's Performance Bowling and Bolarama in Connecticut. Go to your local Storm VIP Pro Shop and grab an X. I'll see you soon. Bowl up a storm.